What's up, Mamma Jambas? So, <clears throat> I've had some interest in uh, some people. Not No, I don't have interest in people because I'm not a huge people person. Like, I don't mind people. Like, I, I probably hate everybody equally. No, that, I'm, no, that come out wrong. No, like, like, the people had interest in, like, okay, Mike, focus. Shut up for a second. Stop. Anyway, I'm struggling a little bit with my English, and uh, it's only my native second language, so uh, we'll just try and move on, and... Uh, when I said native that second like when I'm at second like when I'm in my number. So anyway. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, that's what I live with every day. In here. You have no idea. So a little bit about us. We're a family operated farm. Mosquitoes are bad. I have an older brother who's married. I have a younger brother who's married. And I guess I'm the only one who is not married. And it's not like I hear that all the time. My parents. Parents, friends, yeah. Anyway, but I do have an amazing girlfriend. I hope you're watching this so that way I can earn some brownie points. A subtle wink. <laughs> okay, so anyway, guys, we farm a few acres. We're quite spread out, so we move a lot. We're always on the road. Um, there's lots of experiences while moving down the road or moving through a town or whatever. Um, for equipment, I thought I could show you a few things. One is this 4840 John Deere tractor. We call them around here Burt's. We have a half a dozen of them or whatever kicking around. And uh, you're like, Mike, why do you have a half a dozen or however many of these things kicking around? And I'd be like, well, one reason. They're awesome. They're just awesome tractors. And uh, we use them on our grain carts. We use them for odd jobs around the yard because I've never fully understood and I know every farmer is completely different and you couldn't put a group of farmers in a room together and expect them to get along. But I cannot, for the life of me, put a four or $500,000 tractor, whether it be uh, expensive Fent or some guys put their quad tracks on grain carts. Now, if that's what you need to do, all the props to you, but I have a lot of trouble digesting that. You know, the most expensive tractor that you have, you're going to put it on an auger. Did I say grain cart? Because if I said grain cart, I meant auger. So we basically use these things for augers. So uh, obviously, if you have the Brant 16 HP 120, I think that thing requires 300 and something horsepower. So you're going to have to figure something out. I would be trying to find like a cheap 9250 case tractor or something like that with a PTO versus putting my $600,000 four track on there. But that's just me. So anyway, we run the 16 Buellers by 120, and we can still just run them with these things. So, uh, yeah. So we love them. Now, I just figured out this thing for pause. Oh, yeah, you guys kind of wanted to see the farmyard anyway. The sun isn't very good, but it's actually the sun is really not good. It's kind of right in the way of everything. So I resurrected this old um, TM Honeybee Swather. Isn't this thing awesome, you guys? Like, this is like first date material. I know. Like, who, what girl would not want to be with you while swathing with this sucker? Like, this thing would be awesome. I just want to go one more time. Like, I just want to go one more time. Okay, I'll stop. We'll come out here and we'll walk around. So anyway, it's a honeybee 50 foot, 25 on each table. Converted it to three-point hitch. Thank you, honeybee. Thank you, Greg. And then uh, back here, converted it to three-point hitch. This is supposed to be like this. Yeah, we're not quite there yet. I was thinking about uh, sending it over to honeybee this winter. Get them completely refurbish it like new paint. Whew. Whew. Just makes me feel all warm and cozy inside just to think that something like this could have new paint. Mm, I love that. Okay, moving on. Um, so yeah, got the 720 on this thing. I'll probably have to take it off. Put it on that grain cart way over there. Oh yeah, if you're wondering what this building is, that's our seed cleaning building. We got seed cleaners and stuff in there. Some hopper bins. I guess over here to show you these bins. We got some, I think they're like, they're West Deal. I think they're, gosh, 57,000-ish bushels. Here, I'm gonna pause this so that way it don't take forever. Okay, I'm back. So I'm inside this thing. And I think we have, what well, we got one, two, three, four, Five? Is that right? 
One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six. Six cables here. So I'm pretty sure that we have four temperature and two moisture. I'm pretty sure. So uh, yeah, these drags are pretty sweet. But when you need to use the drag, it actually won't fill uh, the sweep, I should say. It won't fill the drag. They're a little bit slow. These things uh, work really good until the rubbers get chewed off. And then it just starts uh, ripping these screws out. Starts, yeah. That's a problem. Believe me, that's a problem. So anyway, they're pretty cool. I like the false floor. No water can get into them. And uh, that uh, this drag is capable of filling a 12-inch auger. 12-inch. Like, it's a little excessive because uh, when you're actually trying to load a Super B, you're loading too fast if you're loading wide open, and uh, your air on the semi can't keep up. And you're like, Mike, who cares? Uh, uh, yeah, the custom guys. When they're trying to load uh, 40 ton or whatever the heck they're trying to load, and you put on a few ton more by accident. Mm, not happy. Okay, guys. A few granular bins, vert bins. Actually, we've always been liquid fertilizer, to be quite honest with you. This is the first year we've ever gone granular fertilizer. And you're like, Mike, why did you switch from liquid to granular? Well, because liquid's getting a little bit too pricey. And uh, the granular is just simpler, no leaks. It's not as corrosive because on your mid row banders, it's flinging around. I'll show you guys that. I'm gonna pause this thing again. Oh yeah, there's the grain dryer. I'll probably pause this thing again, so that way I don't take up all your time. Speed this process up. Okay. So I just came around the bins. I just came from that direction. I was over there. So, I thought I better come over here. Here's some sprayers. Um, these 4440s, I'm not really a big fan, to be quite honest. They have given us lots of trouble, guys. Lots of trouble. I could do a point two or a 4440 review part two right now, but I don't know if I really want to ruin the mood. And I know all the case guys just checked out, and I apologize. I'm not trying to be hard on any particular color. You guys know that by now. You guys know me by now. It's just that AIM Pro. Oh. And even mechanically, we've had, like a Hydro just went. Like, again. Like, not the second time, but a Hydro went. This year. These things shouldn't happen at 900 hours. But it does in our farm. And we're not hard on things, by the way. Just so you know. Okay. Let's continue on. Um... I'm not trying to take up your time. I'm trying to be quick. The crank cart is a fence. Nine thirty on uh, thirteen ninety six. Oh yeah, these tracks are pretty cool, but they pull really hard. I don't know. Good for compaction, but they sure hard, they're hard to get moving. Got the big fence over there. Um, one thing I don't like is those swiveling spouts. I would not get those again because the sensors can give issues and then your auger won't come down and definitely wouldn't get those big tires again because you know how expensive those things are. You don't even want to ask. Pro till. Oh yeah, we used to have a feed lot. About a thousand head feed lot. We don't have that anymore, thank goodness. Fuel wagon number one. There's another Burt. We call them Burt's. I don't know if I told you that. Swather. Okay, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to head over to the drills. Okay, here we are. Here's our liquid wagons. You don't have to have a lot of liquid wagons because you're not going to be seeding... Uh, you don't have to put every drill into cereals. Some drills. Oh, this is my favorite. This here, I want you guys to... I want, I want you to meet Jethro. I should do a review just on Jethro. I love this. I love this thing. This old Jay's truck is awesome like like it's nothing you know to write home about and it's actually quite difficult to shift I'm not gonna lie like like who structures your gears like this who does that nobody so anyway it's a Mac diesel if you're like Mike what the crap do you use this old Jay's truck for well hauling out canola it's awesome you guys Okay, 950 carts, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the 68 foot. 
You guys have seen drills before. Really like the high flow. Look how, look how, guys, look at this. I haven't quite lined up that other one, but look at this. Did I do a good job here or what? Oh, it's not focusing. I think I did. But I'm biased, I guess, when it comes to lining stuff up. Hanger for the spray plane, hanger for the serious, 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 I should say. All right. And another drill, dooby dooby dooby. Oh, yeah. Ah, hold on here, guys. I'm not trying to make you sick. Those 13s, love those things. That conveyor, a heavy bag of juga, whatever. I think I just made up a word. Really heavy to move, but awesome. I still don't think these things are that accurate, guys. Like, you just have an auger, and then the auger wears out. Like, we had, we took 17 augers in that were brand new when we started, and we got 12 warranty, and the other ones we just replaced anyway. Like, they're literally wore down. Brand new augers, 17 of them. There's gotta be a better way. $1,000 a freaking auger, $1,000 a freaking auger. So anyway, I've vented a little bit. This is just like miscellaneous parking. Oh, don't touch me there. Wait, what? Uh, crap, I thought I hit the pause button. 9.30, this is going to go on the Amazon. Rollers, yabba dabba doo. This is my favorite grain cart, you guys. This is my favorite one. If I can run grain cart, I want to run this one. No swiveling spout. It's awesome. I run it on the 720. Okay, guys. I'm going to pause it to the next. Oh, yeah, bin yards over there. Oh, maybe you guys want to see. I don't know. I don't know what you guys want. Now you got to put up with me in the wind. So there. Suck it up, buttercup. There's another bird. They're just all over the round here. They're like they're like cows on the loose. Oh, yeah. Very important to note. That is our skating rink. It's nicely, freshly built. Wow. We're still working on it. Scale. Scale room. Sun is not good, guys. Sun is not good. I'll, I'll come back here. Oh, I just came to the other side because, yeah, the sun was terrible. So anyway, we run a few John Deere combines. S690s. Here, I'll come up to this one. 45-foot Hydroflex headers. And, uh, yeah, they're going away. They're going away, guys. And you know what's going to replace them? Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. The ideal nine fent with what? Wait for it. A 50 foot honeybee air flex. And you're like, holy crap, Mike. Why did you go with a 50 foot honeybee air flex? Well, because we wanted 50 feet, you guys. And honeybee is 20 minutes away from us. And Greg and Glenn Honey are our neighbors. And I know if we have any issues with these suckers, they'll take care of us. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Remember the video of the bins? There used to be a whole pile of bins here. They're gone. These bins, they're going to leave. They're going to leave. They're going to leave. Trackos. Oh, this looks rough. Oh, boy. Oh. Wow, wow, that's some big rocks. Holy crap. Office one. Office two. We also have a movie theater in here with actual... Uh, theater seats, popcorn machine, you know, bonding stuff. There's another bird. I told you, they're like loose deer around here. Ha! They're like deer on the loose. Get it? No pun intended. Actually, that pun wasn't intended. Cam shed, fuel tanks. That, those fuel tanks, I think they're like 35,000 gallons each or something. And uh, we can fill those things multiple times a year. That's a sad freaking story. These are 370 ton fur tanks for fur liquid fertilizer. Miscellaneous, this is just miscellaneous junk. This is miscellaneous. Miscellaneous, miscellaneous. You can't see it anyway because the sun's so bad. Oh yeah, shop one, shop two. That's it guys. That's it in a nutshell. Hope you enjoyed. Those are supposed to be flag poles. There's nothing on it, don't judge me. Don't freaking judge me. And, uh, yeah. I will talk to you mofos later.
Yadi, 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 yadi